everybody welcome back to my channel the lotus doll shops balanced lifestyle channel so today i am going to be trying out the new estee lauder double wear stay in place foundation so before we get started make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so youtube can let you know every time i post a new video so i'm excited about this um let's get started and see what it gives us all right guys so if you watched my last video you'll know that um i did a little sephora haul and in that sephora haul the estee lauder double wear stay, double wear stay in place foundation was a part of that haul but what i found out is that it looks a little bit different online than it does in person because the color that i got was way too light so i switched it out um this is what it looks like this is the estee lauder double wear stay in place look uh, box and this is the actual bottle and the new color that I got is 5w2 rich caramel so um, I'm gonna get started putting putting that on my face um, I might have to do a little bit of color correcting because this is still a little light it's it was hard for them to uh, match me perfectly but we're gonna play around with some stuff to just see how we can do about mixing the colors and evening things out a little bit more okay so um this rich caramel it's not as light as the other color that I had previously but it's not um, as dark as it was hard for them to kind of um, color me so I'm gonna use this this is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand this is what that looks like and it's closer to the caramel color in my skin so I'm gonna use this as a little bit of uh, color correction in certain areas on my face that are a little darker here 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 and here and I'm going to blend them out blend it out a little bit Let's put this back here and see if I can kind of even out my complexion just a little bit before I add the other color on because they didn't have the exact match for my skin so we're gonna do that yeah I think this is gonna help me even things out a bit in terms of giving that makeup a little bit of a base to work with help that color out a little bit to give it an even base yeah there we go perfect okay so now that I've got um, that Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand color on to help me correct my skin tone a little bit we're gonna just try this double wear stay in place makeup again guys the color I have is 5w2 we're gonna try this one out and see how it works I think I told you guys on the last video that the last time that I used Estee Lauder um, was with um, one of the makeup artists, Stuart Nelson. He worked on a show that I was working on when I played a character called Risky Southern Law and he used this makeup on my face. It's very good for when you're in lights and it was long wearing then and this is a new one and it's supposed to be like a stay in place makeup so I'm kind of excited to give it a shot and see what it does. Estee Lauder really uh, blends well. That's what I do love about it. And it gives you good coverage. I like that too. And guys, obviously I've already prepped and primed and all of those products that I used to do that will be down in the description box. Okay guys, so um, this is what it looks like once you put it on. I already know it's Estee Lauder. It's gonna give you good coverage right off the bat. You guys, look, you can't even see those lighter spots that are on my forehead. You can't see the lighter spot that's on my jaw. Um, I'm liking that it, work, it worked well with the glow wand that I used to kind of correct some of the darkening in my face. I mean, it, it doesn't look oily. It looks natural. I love that. Um, I knew it was going to give me good coverage anyway because 
I mean, it's, it's, it's Estee Lauder. It's, it's a classic makeup, you know, and it's gone are the days when you would get the classic makeup and everything looks really cakey. I'm loving that. So I like, and I didn't even have to use very much. I think I used, um, I just dumped the bottle maybe one time on this sponge and blended it out. Great blend, the coverage looks good. I knew it was gonna do what I needed it to do. I'm loving it, so let's finish with the rest of the face. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead with my concealer. I'm just gonna be using my Morphe C415 concealer. It's a lot lighter than the makeup, so we're gonna do that. Just do some light concealer underneath my eyes. Some dotting here, here. Now I probably could have corrected a little bit more here with that glow on. All right, so we got that in and we are going to blend. Let me start, let me start with my nose and get the rest of it. I'll turn my spotlight off in a little bit, guys. I just gotta make sure I can see what's going on here. Okay, so so far it's looking pretty good and it's not making the concealer look cakey it's not too much so we're doing that and I'm gonna use my old faithful Pat McGrath underneath my eyes sides of my nose let's finish with the rest of the face <laughs> okay so for my bronzer today I'm gonna be using one that I hadn't pulled out in a very long time if you've been reading what I've been using on my face the last couple of months this is the essence Sun Club matte bronzing bronzing palette powder palette and I am going to be using this color right here see what it gives us uh oh nope that's not gonna work with this one I'm gonna have to go with a darker color All right. so that gives me a little color around the forehead on the jawline All right, so guys, that was the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzer. Now let's see what we can do about an eye look. Okay, for a quick eye look, I'm gonna be using my Natasha Denona Peak Palette. I love this palette, it's very neutral. Oh, so pretty, beautiful colors. Um, I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna use this pretty, it's like an orangey red color. And I'm just gonna be putting that all over the eyelid one eye on camera the other eye off in the interest of time do that I think I might smoke it out a little bit using a darker color okay I'm gonna be using this color here in the middle it's like a brown and I'm gonna use that on the outside of the eye and just a little bit in the crease. See if we can smoke the eye out a little bit. I don't think it's gonna give me the darkest smoky eye, but I think it's gonna do what I want it to do. Mm -hmm. All right, that is my second color on top. Let me do a little light smoky eye. Okay, so final color is gonna be this pretty gold right here. I'm gonna put that on the top of the lid. All right, a little bit in the corner there. In the inner corner. All right, and I'm gonna take my brush that I used for the original color and kind of blend those in just a little bit. Yeah. All right. And 
I'm gonna take my original color here and I'm gonna put that on right underneath my waterline. Smudge it out. And I'm gonna be using my Stay Put Milani waterproof eyeliner. And it's this regular black. That is going to be the eye look. Now I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and come right back. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be doing my blusher. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 Juvia's Place Palette. And I am going to be using one of my favorite colors to use on this palette. It's called B, right here. I'm gonna put that on the cheeks. And I like it that adding anything on top of that Estee Lauder it's not moving that that makeup's not moving I like that very nice all right so that is our blusher and let's see Maybe I'm gonna grab my highlighter palette Okay guys, so I'm going to be using the Danessa Myricks Lightworks Highlighter Volume 2 Highlighter Palette and I think I want to use this Cinnamon Sugar for my highlighter but first I'm going to use that on my brow bones to highlight a bit on my brow bone and her colors are really, really potent, love them, blend it together a little bit. We're gonna get a little bit of that cinnamon sugar down my nose here. I don't like a shiny, shiny nose, guys. This one's really pretty. Right here, Cupid's bow, and right on my chin. Okay, and I have to put, I do my mascara after I do my setting spray, guys. Okay, and a little bit on her cheekbones high points yeah very nice yeah look at that pretty okay guys now I turn my spotlight off so you can kind of see a little bit better you know I use my spotlight guys for my eyes <laughs> you guys know what I told you about my eyes if you've been watching my video so I'm gonna be using this NYX dewy finish long lasting setting spray to finish out the look Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I need to put a little setting powder on. And today, uh, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in Honey. So we're gonna use a little bit of that. And this setting powder get really, really messy. Okay, now I'm gonna be doing that NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. Now that we got a little setting powder on. First things first. And with um, this Essence Stay In Place makeup, I wanted something that'll give me a little bit more um, full coverage, but I'm using the setting spray that has a little bit of a dewy finish so you won't look too matted, you know? So I like the way that feels. We'll let that dry down and I'm going to be just using my Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara today. This is what this wand looks like just in case you want to know. You guys know I like smaller wands. <laughs> and nice and blown out. I love it. Now let's put a lip on. Okay guys, so um, for my lippy today, I'm gonna be using my NYX Urban Cafe Lip Liner. You guys know I love this one so much. Simple. I'll blend that together. And this is uh, Milani's lipstick in the color Nylon. It's a great like a, a maroon color. Let's see how that works. 
Mm -hmm. This tastes so good. It, it tastes like oranges. <laughs> So, all right, so I love the lip look. Mm -hmm. I think it works together. Okay guys, so um, this is the finished look. Um, like I said about Estee Lauder, you're gonna get good coverage. Now as far as it staying in place, I'm not really gonna do the wear test, but who knows, I might keep it on a little while just to kind of see what it's gonna give me in a couple of hours. We'll see and then I'll tell you guys about it in the next video. <laughs> um, so uh, overall, I love the look. Um, it gives me really good coverage. Um, like I said, in terms of color, now if you're on the color spectrum of what they've created, that's great. But for me, my skin is a little bit weird because of the lupus discoloration. So I had to find something that'll kind of even out the skin tone before I actually put that on. So I'm liking what this Estee Lauder Double Wear is doing. I already knew it was going to be a good makeup. I mean, it's, it's Estee Lauder. You really can't go wrong. It's a very classic brand. And what I like about it is it's not the Estee Lauder of yesterday year so where you look kind of cakey once you put it on they're improving the formula from what I can tell from the last time that I wore it so I'm really really loving the look um, it worked well with the other makeup products that I use the bronzer um, the blusher and like I said when I added the other products it didn't move the makeup at all and that's something I definitely love so um yes Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup mm-hmm I'm liking what it does. <laughs> okay guys, so thanks so much for clicking on today. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope that you know you might wanna give that Estee Lauder Double Wear a try. Um, if you're out there and you've tried this product, definitely you know leave me a comment below and tell me what you thought about it. Um, and if you did a wear test too, to see if it actually stayed in place. I would really love to talk to everybody about that. So, um, guys um as always i hope you go over and check out my boutique on poshmark the lotus doll shop on poshmark at la doll la we've got a lot of summer to fall transitional pieces guys like i said i've got sweaters as low as six dollars right now because i'm trying to make room um those are final uh, clearance sweaters I'm trying to make room for some new stuff to come in I only have so much room to hold mer merchandise so I need to get rid of those and they're really nice really good quality um, I've got some pan sets a jumpsuit I've got some really good summer to fall transitional pieces that you want to go over there and check out and I usually ship next day so I appreciate you guys for checking that out if you do and all of the ladies who have already shopped with me thank you so much you are further helping me to uh, create the Lotus doll brand and also to become a five-star seller which I already am I said become I am a five-star seller <laughs> anyway um so guys um, also if you are donating to um, all the people down in Louisiana due to Hurricane Ida I really do appreciate you guys continue to keep them in your prayers my family and some of my friends are still down there even though I'm here in Atlanta so I really appreciate you guys for doing that um, and again I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell and give me a thumbs up and please leave a comment let's talk I like to know who's watching I like to know who you are I really appreciate you guys for watching thanks so much bye